Hi guys, welcome to the channel. It's your boy Bradley Mutawun. And then if you're new to this channel, please do subscribe. Do click that notification bell so that you're notified when I post new videos. So on to this. today's video, we're gonna be looking at uh, USDT and NASDAQ. And then if you want like the best broker to trade NASDAQ and USDT, you can use like the link in the description below. As you can see, I'm outside today. I'm um, just chilling, just chilling guys. So Come look at this. Let's run to the chats and then I'll see you on the flip side, guys. Uh, do subscribe and click the notification bell. Peace out. Okay, guys, uh, now we are on the chats. Uh, we are looking at NASDAQ on the weekly chart. And then as you can see here, we have this high. And then we have this low here at the bottom of the structure. And then NASDAQ has been giving us like momentum to the downside, as you can see here. Then let's move to the daily and just look at the overall structure on the daily chart so what we're looking for here is for buying opportunities and then let me just put this nicely and then we have a trend line at the top like this and then we have a trend line at the bottom of the structure and then previously we had this double top area here on the daily and then we had this as our sending channel to give us sales to the downside as you can see so let me just uh, plot that out so that we can see everything in the market so we had this double top and then we had this ascending channel so now we're gonna be focusing like on this area here to give us reversals to the upside so let me just remove those squabbles and then move to the 4 hour chart then on the 4 hour chart uh, I just checked for momentum and then on the 4 hour chart as you can see here we have this nice descending channel trend to form up going to that uh, mass psychology area so this is what we have at the moment on the daily on the 4 hour chart now let me try and put these uh, analysis correctly so let me go to the hour chart and just check the hour chart so on the hour chart uh, I have like this nice area here that I can use like this and then another one like this so Nasdaq has been like squeezing to the downside as you can see uh, at the bottom of the structure so we're looking for more cells up until this area here and then you have your first touch second touch and then the third touch sms psychology break and then you look for uh some type of continuation patterns after the impulse maybe a tight flag and then you take your first trade around here so that you can be on the safe side first take profit that's on the outer structure and then your stop loss is just below here and then the overall take profit it's on the let me check the four hour then the overall take profit is around uh, this area here the 90% rule of the overall descending channel around here for 20% so that is how I'm looking at the uh, Nasdaq and then another thing that you should like keep mind is that you have your first touch here your second touch here and then Nasdaq can just drop up until it reaches this area here still we haven't broken structure just because we have the one two three and then you will be having the mass psychology area broken also and then looking at us 30 on the weekly chart so let me just refresh the charts and remove my analysis and then on us 30 uh, you can just move to line chart and then just look at the reversal turning points and then you have this turning point and you can just go back to the uh, candlestick charts and then I'll put it on the week and then you have this lowest low around here then you have this high here so same as NASDAQ I'm looking at this as an overall ascending as an overall impl impulse up and then this is the correction as a descending channel to look for buying opportunities then you have this overall trend to the upside so let me just remove those drawings and then as you can see here we've broken like the mass psychology area on the weekly chart of which is a good sign 
then switching to the daily chart that's where I'll be drawing like the overall structure then the overall structure will start from here to here and then you have your first touch second touch uh, and then looking at the lows you have your first touch and your second touch on the lows so this is an expanding descending channel as you can see same as Nasdaq we have a pattern within a pattern around here as an ascending channel at the top of the structure and then giving us a nice double top to sell to the downside but we will be focusing on this area around here so same as Nasdaq we have like a descending channel at a high value area and then we're looking for turning points or buying opportunities around this area here so let me just remove that uh, mass psychology area and then moving to the four hour that is where you'll see everything clearly so let me just uh, properly align my analysis okay so i'll use this as a override just because we can have like a double bottom around there instead of a third touch and then a buy so the points that i'm looking at are these ones here the first touch second touch and then we get the third touch or the double top double bottom reversal override and then you look for entries around here so let me just remove those and switch to the hour chart and then on the hour chart as you can see here we already have some type of a pattern trying to form up then we can get like an entry so we have this ascending channel top of the structure around here and then we have this double top area here mass psychology and then we had like the first entry here it doesn't have like two bottoms it doesn't have like two bottoms so you can just filter it out like on the lower time frames and then we have this one here and then it has two bottoms as you can see here like this and then you can place your entry for a cell around this area here stop loss just above here entry just a few pips below and then what you're looking for is for the market to take you into the trade for a cell up until targeting like this area here or the overall third touch to push back to the upside so you can manage this trade let me just check if you can manage the trade if you enter it so yeah you can manage it up when when the market reaches like this area here you can just log your entry to break even and then looking at this as your first take profit that's about three percent and then the overall it's about three point eight percent so you can just look for a short term entry around there and then look for reversals to the upside so that is it for today's video and then i'll see you on another one